Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. It's me, Sal Stefano, your host for today's exercise. So today I'm going to show you a floor bridge, which is a fantastic exercise for the most popular muscle on the human body, the glutes. A lot of people do this exercise. Most people do it wrong. Luckily for you, I'm going to teach you how to do it the right way in this video. All right, guys, so let me show you how to get into position and do this exercise. Again, remember, it looks very basic, and I'm sure you see people do this in the gym all the time, but there's a lot of points you wanna pay attention to to make it super effective. So, you're gonna start off by laying down on the floor, and you want your feet not too far out from your body. So I like to, I don't want my knees super close, or I'm sorry, my feet super close to my body, and I don't want them way out. I want a nice, normal bend in my knees, and I'm gonna lay flat on the floor. First thing you wanna pay attention to, is you have this natural arch in your back. I can actually slide my hand underneath my low back. Now that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but before we do the exercise, I want you to practice flattening your low back. So I actually want you to squeeze your low back, or bring your low back down to the floor, squeeze your core, and take your hips and rotate them just a little bit. So you can see that a little bit. If you look at my low back, you can see how I'm flattening it and rotating my hips. Now that's key, because that's gonna help me activate my glutes when I do this exercise. So that's step number one, flatten the back. Step number two, you wanna take something, I'm gonna use this foam roller, but you can use anything. Some people will use a pillow, other people use a yoga block, and you wanna place it between your knees, and I want you to squeeze that, that whatever it is you put between your knees, I want you to squeeze it, and I'm gonna squeeze this foam roller. So flat back, squeeze the foam roller. All right, so also when you're doing this movement, hands flat on the floor, head on the floor, and you wanna keep kind of this tall posture with your spine. So you don't wanna look back here and you don't want your head off the floor when you're doing this exercise. And you do, hands here is good. You can put your hands on your waist as well, but when you first start doing this exercise, I like to tell people to put them here. Now we're gonna do the exercise. Holding those positions, I'm gonna push my hips up as high as I can, and I'm gonna feel that real gnarly in my glutes and in my hamstrings. And then you wanna come right back down Relax for a second, and then start over. Flatten the back, squeeze the core, squeeze whatever's between your knees, and then press into the floor and lift your hips and get those glutes firing really hard. Now the tempo is very slow. So at the bottom of the movement, I always reset. I always start off relaxed. Then I start with flat back, squeeze the thing, and then I'm gonna come up and it's gonna take me about three seconds to come up. So I'm gonna go 1,001, 1,002, thousand three. Then I want you to hold at the top for about two seconds and squeeze and then come right back down nice and controlled and relax. Now when you do this movement at the top what sometimes happens is people will flatten the back then they'll come up they'll push but they'll go right back into arching their low back. I don't want you to do that. I want you to maintain that that rotated pelvis at the top where you flatten your back and you kind of keep your your your, tel your tailbone tucked Keep that at the top when you come up and squeeze. You'll find that your range of motion is actually a little bit shorter than if you relax that low back and just kind of come up as high as you possibly can. You'll get more activation by tucking your tailbone here and squeezing at the top than you will by just pumping the reps out. Remember the tempo again, flat back, squeeze, come up three seconds, hold for about two to three seconds, then come down nice and controlled, relax at the bottom, and then repeat, flat back, squeeze, and up. All right, so if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will visit and make sure to answer them for you. Also, share this video with your friends, like this video, subscribe to our awesome channel, set on your notifications so you see when we post new videos. And finally, at the end of this video, you will have a link where you can get a free guide on how to correct and help back pain.